So there are a certain percentage of people who do have an acrylic allergy. Mm -hmm. So that's any kind of adhesive. Um, it's a small percentage, anywhere from 2 to 5% of the population. Now, if you have an acrylic allergy, it doesn't matter whether the glue is a millimeter off of the base of your skin or touching your skin. Mm -hmm. Because once you blink your eyes, all that glue from the upper eyelid is going to now contact your lower eyelid. Mm -hmm. So if you've got the, the allergy, you just can't have that glue anywhere near your skin. You also wouldn't be able to use a Band-Aid. You also wouldn't be able to use liquid Band-Aid or new skin or Dermabond or anything that has an acrylic component or a glue component to it. Mm -hmm. Now for the rest of everybody, which is the majority of people, you can definitely safely use acrylic glue to the surface of your skin. I think people definitely are worried about allergies and I think it sounds better if yeah. it's a millimeter off the skin. But remember how allergies work. It's, it works by an immune response. Mm -hmm. Your immune system is going to pick it up, whether it's a, a millimeter away and touching your lower lid versus whether it's touching the upper lid. It's still going to pick up that allergen. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really not about being a millimeter away. It's about it being there at all. So the question is, is gluing the entire lash worse than just gluing the base of the lash? And the answer is no. Once you've glued to the lash, it doesn't matter if you're gluing the whole lash or just the base. The glue is there. The rest of your hair, which by the way, is not living. So if you glue to the entire lash, it, it doesn't make any difference. So even if you remove most of the hair and leave just a little nub at the base, mm -hmm it's not gonna affect the growth of that hair follicle because you haven't hurt the follicle. I've been asked to talk to you a little bit tonight about cyanoacrylics. Um, these are very interesting adhesives that are widely used uh, in many things, including medicine. Basically, the, the use of the cyanoacrylic adhesives in the area of the eye, and they've been used extensively for years in the medical world to act as sutures on skin. So you can put it actually on a laceration on the skin and, and physically glue that, that cut back together. Uh, it works quite well, and in fact, uh, in many ways, it's safer than suturing. And it's, so there's decades and decades of, of clinical evidence showing that it's not really particularly toxic. Um, the eyelid is a bit thinner than the uh, rest of the skin of the human body, but still, We've used it many times. You can use it without worrying about harming the skin. The solvents and the components of the glue um, individually look pretty toxic. And the, the solvents themselves, when they get on the skin, they can actually cause a little bit of a chemical irritation. And in some cases, repeated exposure can cause a, a true allergy up to somewhere in the neighborhood of 3 to 5 percent. Um, the other components, when the glue sets up, it sets up so rapidly, it doesn't really have enough time to raise the tissue to any sort of toxic levels. Uh, and once it's, they're all encased within the glue itself, they're actually very inert. Um, so we've not only used them uh, to glue eyelid lacerations back together, I understand that they're used in adhering eyelash extensions to the normal native eyelashes. Um, you can do this without worry, basically. Again, the solvent can temporarily cause a little irritation in some people, but the glue itself uh, remains pretty harmless. Um, no matter how you attach the lash, the eyelash extension to the eyelash, the eyelash itself doesn't really care. Um, biomechanically, it's the same torque on the base of the eyelash and it really is harmless one way or the other. From a structural standpoint, it would make more sense to glue the lash extension along its entire length to get the maximal support. Um, just a point of contact with the lash will leave it a little bit fragile and probably would, would fall off a little more readily. What if you got the glue actually directly into the eye? Well, as it turns out, that's not much of an issue either. Um, we're, we've used cyanoacrylic adhesives to actually help in surgery with eye, eye surgeries. 
For example, let's say that there was a penetrating injury to the eye and a, and a hole was actually poked directly into the eye. These circular defects are notoriously difficult to suture. Uh, but what we do is just take the smallest amount, just a tiny dab of this glue, put it right over the hole, it sets up like that, plugs the hole, and you can leave it on the eye for many, many months while that heals. Um, the surface of the glue can be a little rough, so we often will just put a contact lens over top of it so it doesn't scratch under the eyelid itself. Uh, but the glue, <clears throat> it doesn't leach enough of the uh, components into the tissue to cause any sort of reaction.